try to take the reins all the way down. But you see, she's light, she's soft, she's relaxed. She has a beautiful walk and you're just channeling this energy. And then you're making changes of direction from the outside rain. So all of this that we have at the walk now, we need to get at the trot. <laughs> okay. So your left leg has a tendency to come forward. Good. We're thinking just both hands right. And once again, I just gonna say, the greener the horse, the wider your hands. Once she's, once you guys got it together, we make you look like a princess on top of her. Okay. <sighs> Let's face it. When you're learning how to ride an instrument. You're going to be out of tune for a while, and then you gradually refine everything as you go. And we're going to have to lengthen them stirrups eventually, too. <laughs> so, without too much fanfare, we're going to shorten your reins. We're going to pick up the littlest trot in the world. <laughs> Shit, going forward is not a problem for her. Okay, and you're going to have, yep, just fix her. Good, very nice. So we can go little tiny sitting trot, like a western jog trot. She can do it, you saw it. Good, good. Little this trot in the world. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, good. So this is you and her figuring out what the hell you need to do to make it all come together. And it's looking pretty together. <laughs> so just like you did in the, in the walk, you know, when she goes to put her head up, you've got to Widen the hands, bend the elbows. You gotta get the slack out of the reins. Good. And remember, the secret is the stretching. She has to stretch down into the contact. Right, don't drive her or anything. And you're, you're, you were like sitting back and rounding your back there. Don't do that. Just stay sitting tall. Right, the horse is supposed to come up. Her back's supposed to come up and massage your seat. If you drive with your seat, you're gonna push your back away from you. Any uh, complaints about this? No. Is it, it would win a walk truck class? Keep going. Does she need to go forward? Of course she needs to go forward. But first you want to go forward with some kind of control. You know? <laughs> Trust me, we'll go forward, but what good is forward unless your horse is submissive? Good, easy. So, I love it. So you're just gonna sit tall and she's gonna walk. Just sit, right, get her back in the bridle, just sit yeah, now ask her to stretch at the walk again. You don't understand. Your horse is like China, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Let her go all the way down. You have to ride her with the aids of someone who works in a China factory. She's so light, she's so soft. But once you get her more on the aids, she will become a little less like that because you guys will develop a relationship. All right, this is great. So. Let's do some more. So we're going to shorten up your reins. I'll try to figure out how to zoom, not zoom. Shorten up your reins. We're going to pick up that little sitting trot again. <clears throat> I know being an inventor, you want to go, go, go. <laughs> That'll come later. <laughs> right. So just our little sitting trot on the bit. <clears throat> Flies. Good. Fixer. Remember, it's all about stretching, Alex. Here, Lexi, go down. Here, Lexi, go down. Little le inside bend, good. Now we'll add our little posting trot. It shouldn't change. Nothing should change when you post. Good. And you're just thinking both hands to the right to turn. Yep, that's okay. Let her stretch down. Don't try not to let her get quick because if you get quick, you're going to lose her brain. Her being relaxed is part of you having her brain. Good, good. Now, if you really, if you start to really lose it and it's all falling apart, then you go back to your little sitting trot again. So it's two steps back, one step forward. Good. She's looking for her buddies. Good, very nice. Look at how pretty and light. Well, you always have to ride like a little teacup. No. <laughs> good. Let's see if you can get her to stretch down and out. So. Of course we know she might speed up, so you post slower. Bingo. You yeah, don't post faster just because she goes faster. Our first immediate goal, like you might think it's 
deflection and on the bit. Well, I'm sorry, but we've achieved that. <laughs> Our next immediate goal is to get her to stretch and keep her balance. Good. Slow the posting. Just because she goes faster doesn't mean you post faster. Good. Let's shorten up your reins a little bit. All right, you got to bring your inside shoulder back some. Your shoulders should mirror her shoulders. Okay, so you're going to shorten up your reins a little bit more. Yep. And you're going to ease yourself back into the sitting. Put her on the bit, stretching into the bit. Yep, that's your fast trot. Good for you. And then we're going to ask her to walk with your seat. Brrr, oh, Lexi, let's just walk. All right, just sit tall and bring your heels up because if your heels are jammed down, that's a driving aid. And now you're going to stretch her all the way down because, you know, she's pretty uh, bottled up. We have to unbottle her. <laughs> Got to let the fizz out. Let her stretch all the way down. And then we'll go the other way. 